Cybersecurity is all the rage these days. Six-figure salary, fully remote, and cocaine. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Okay, let's get serious here. Is cybersecurity really all it's cracked up to be, or just a dream? And most importantly, is this field the right fit for you? Let's find out today. So this one time I found myself at this meetup, right? And at the time I was working for FireEye as a security operations analyst. And a girl asked me what I did for a living. And of course, proudly I said, hey, you know what, I, I work in security operations. And as you can imagine, she was not impressed. But then later in the same evening, I talked to another one and I asked her what she did for a living. And she said, I work in cybersecurity. And the first thing that crossed my mind was, Actually, that sounds really cool. And I wasn't the only one thinking like that. People around listening and engaging in the same conversation, they said, wow, that sounds really awesome. And they actually wanted to know more about it. Here is the life lesson, folks. When someone asks you what you do for a living, just say, I work in cybersecurity. But hey, let's get back on track. Or did I even digress in the first place? You see, cybersecurity is filled with misconceptions. When most people hear about it, they imagine these hackers in movies with black and green terminals and uh, government conspiracies. Not gonna lie, even I get excited about cybersecurity when I watch a hacker's movie. And I just wonder when is my life going to look as exciting as that? And I'm still waiting to this day. But here is the kicker, folks. The cool factor in cybersecurity is in the eyes of the beholder, just like beauty. If you ever visit DEF CON or a large conference, you are going to meet people there that live and breathe cybersecurity. And you can see this in the way they dress and the way they talk. Then there are others like me who prefer to blend in and look a bit more normal, if that is the right word. Your take on the field is your own and the only thing I can do is lay down the cold hard facts and then you can make a decision. But before you decide to jump into cybersecurity and if you are considering it, I highly advise you to go through this video until the end. And as you guys know, I have a soft spot for the number three. So today I'm going to give you three pros and three cons of cybersecurity. So stay tuned. Let's start with the pros. And the first pro is low entry barrier. One of the coolest things about cybersecurity, IT and computer science fields is that you actually don't need a degree to work in the field, as opposed to say being a doctor. All you need are a few courses, a few certifications, a lot of technical practice and interviewing practice. And soon enough, you can land your first five figure salary. And because the entry barrier is so low and there are thousands and millions of people in the field, you have plenty of resources online to learn at your own pace. And this, folks, is one of the reasons why IT and cybersecurity are such appealing areas these days, because they are easy to get in. But as Warren Buffet said once, cybersecurity is simple, but it's not easy. The second pro is own projects and deep work. Now picture this, a surgeon, doing surgery from home. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh Jesus, it's actually possible. That's so disgusting. Now here is the thing that I love the most about cybersecurity and tech fields. I can spend hours and hours doing deep work, working on a security tool, or perhaps tuning my cloud infrastructure. And when you throw in a rainy or a snowy day in the weekend, it's just a perfect combo. For introverts, tech fields are an absolute dream. Because you get to have hobbies that don't really involve people, you can spend a lot of time on your own, working on your side projects. And on top of this, this is a field that can pay quite well, without being at the mercy of someone else's opinions or sales targets. Pro number three, the riches, AKA the money baby. And this is one of the most important reasons for people that actually move into cybersecurity or decide to leave their old jobs and careers to move into this field. And the truth is that if you are really good at it, if you are really good at what you do in cybersecurity, you can make a lot of money. That is an absolute fact. Of course, location is important. When I sift through Reddit, it seems that everyone in America is making six figures, sometimes straight out of college. Making six figures out of college in Europe is an absolute insanity, but six-figure salary is something that you can achieve in Europe, but it's not so common as in America. So those clickbait titles from fake gurus, well, they are almost right. But not everything is good in cybersecurity land. And as I mentioned, I'm going to also give you three 
cons of working in cybersecurity. Let's start with the first con, fundamentals galore. Cybersecurity is a meta subject. It does not stand on its own feet. It relies on fundamentals of IT and computer science. For instance, that exploit that you ran through Metasploit against a vulnerable virtual machine works because there is a vulnerability on a program caused by improper parsing of command line arguments. What ends up happening is that the program writes outside of memory boundaries, which leads to malicious code execution and the compromise of the virtual machine. Wait, 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 Bruno. I saw your lips moving, but I didn't understand anything. Well, that's because you may be missing some or perhaps a lot of fundamentals. When I mean fundamentals, I mean basic components of operating systems such as processes, inputs, outputs, memory allocations, memory protection. You know, all of these things that you are usually taught at a university or at an intensive course where they talk about fundamentals of operating systems. Fundamentals are not really fun for most, but they are quite critical if you want to be successful in this field. And even though you don't really need them, it's going to make your learning and progression process much smoother. Now, you may be wondering why have I decided to mention this as a con. And the reason it's because a lot of people that jump into cybersecurity and take some questionable courses or boot camps, they are not really prepared to join the field because these courses and boot camps don't address fundamentals. Fundamentals by themselves are not a con. They are actually a good thing. The problem is that a lot of people know nothing about them before they jump into cybersecurity. So that's something that you must be aware of. And I know that cliches make some of us cringe, but just like jokes, there is some truth in them. Working in cybersecurity really requires you to love what you do. And I see countless people on Reddit that show up every week looking for a way to get into cybersecurity because they are tired of their old jobs. Usually the reason for the change is money. They see that cybersecurity jobs pay really well. They want a six-figure salary and the promise of riches. But let me tell you folks, everything in life comes at a price. Cybersecurity can be a pressure cooker. It is no stranger to burnout, depression and substance abuse. And that is affecting even people that love cybersecurity. It's almost like our bread and butter. And as an aside, I actually never understood those banners outside, say in the metro or on the mall, or perhaps online advertisement, where they show pictures of IT or tech people, cybersecurity people that just finished their course and they are starting their new job. And they look really happy with their expensive MacBooks full of stickers. The problem is not the expensive MacBooks with the stickers. These are cliches in and of themselves. My gripe with this is that IT is sold as an area where it's all sunshine and rainbows and everyone is happy and there is no stress or burnout. This is just not the case. Now, don't get me wrong, folks. Working in tech can be a blast. I love working in cybersecurity and I would not work in anything else. But before you join, bear in mind that these fields and tech fields are made of ups and downs, just like any other field, especially if you have to deal with customers. And fun fact, my second video on this YouTube channel was actually about coping with stress and substance abuse. And so I highly recommend that you check it out when you finish watching this video, of course. The last con is loneliness and isolation. If you are one of those people that is quiet social and really likes to engage with other people, a tech field is probably not the best field for you. And the reason is quite simple. You are going to spend most of your time, most of your days, most of your months and years working solo. Whether you are doing a pen test, crafting some Terraform code, or simply responding to alerts, it is just you and your tech for the most part. Ironically enough, most of the times when you actually get to interact with other people is under circumstances that no one really likes such as meetings or incidents. Just picture yourself telling your sock buddy on a Monday morning about that expensive LCD that you bought during the weekend, while at the same time telling him that the attacker that breached the company managed to break into his laptop according to DDR. It's not a fun conversation, trust me. This field is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, you get to spend a lot of time on your own, working on your projects, which is amazing if you are an introvert. On the other hand, you are going to spend a lot of time alone, which can really take a toll on your mental health. 
tech gigs aren't one size fits all because let's be honest, everyone has got different needs. So Spartans, after weighing the pros and cons of cybersecurity, let's circle back to the million dollar question. Is cybersecurity the right field for you? And as usual, the answer is, well, it depends. And the question becomes even more complex when you consider whether you are aiming for success or just trying to make it true. Regardless of your objective, I find that for you to thrive in cybersecurity, you should meet at least two of the following requirements. The first one is that you enjoy your own company. You have got to be cool with spending time alone. It is part and parcel of the job. The second requirement is that you find joy in own projects. If tinkering with own projects gets you really excited, I can tell you that you are on the right track. Bonus points if you are one of those people that enjoys working on the same project over time, making those small and incremental changes. The third and final requirement is that you love tech and you stay current. Cybersecurity moves really fast, which means that you must keep up with the latest trends. Losing touch with what is going on around is a sure way to become obsolete in no time. So Spartans, after checking this video, are you still pumped to dive into the world of cybersecurity? If the answer is a resounding hell yeah, leave that in the comments below. I will make sure to hit that like button on all of your comments and send some cyber prosperity your way. Until next time, stay safe, stay paranoid.